Yep, spot pesa. Nika jackpot predictions for 6th uh, to 7th April 2024. Yeah, welcome back, guys. Mr. Harris is here again with another attempt at the mega jackpot. Eh? Like I said, the journey continues. Eh? Uh, currently, 286 million after tax is the prize money plus a few hundred thousand. So it's rounded off, it's around 287 million. Yeah, so as always, uh, your disclaimer there in case you need to update yourself uh, of who Mr. Analysis is and uh, why he's all about this mega jackpot. Right? Yeah, otherwise, guys, straight away to the predictions today. Some of you said you don't need too many stories. Eh? <laughs> I'm always telling too much stories and less predictions. So today, let's go straight away to the predictions. Uh, game number one. Yes, Roma versus Lazio. Now, last week I did not predict game number one, and I gave you guys a chance to help me because game number one has been a problem to me. And uh, majority of you uh, predicted a draw. That was the game between uh, Lazio and Juventus. So many of you were torn between Juventus or a draw, but majority was a draw. So I, I picked the draw that uh, you guys advised and I placed. Uh, but unfortunately, the game was uh, did not the game did not end in a draw. It almost ended in a draw until the 93rd minute uh, that some guy called Genduzi uh, scored for uh, Lazio, and that is, that is how Lazio won, and the game ended in a home win. Mm -hmm. So guys, you can see how game one is very tricky. Yeah? We almost got it there at draw, but in the dying minute, somebody just decided to score a goal and shh, everything overturned. Huh? So this week, I'm going to attempt game number one again. Uh, it's Roma versus Lazio. Uh, from the past games, it's Roma have, uh, have been very good at home. And like I've mentioned before, upon the departure of Jose Mourinho, it's Roma has really improved. They are winning. They are scoring a lot of goals. They are not packing the bus like Mourinho is uh, used to. And you can see almost 10 games played at home. They've only lost one to Inter. Inter is currently at the top. Uh, Lazio on the other end, uh, away, the away form is not so solid. They would win one, lose two, win two, lose two. So it's very unstable, it's very unpredictable. And again, if you see the games they lost, they lost to big teams, to Fiorentina, to Bayern, to Atalanta, to Inter. Now, given that AS Roma is one of the top teams in Syria, uh, and they're based on the uh, statistics we've seen there for the past 10 games. Uh, my prediction here is going to be a straight A as Roma win. Uh, very confident about this. Uh, no, I'm not confident. <laughs> I'm always confident on game number one, but I get my own thing. So my prediction here is Roma. I'm just hoping that it turns out to be the correct prediction. Yeah, so that is it. Game number two, Dortmund versus uh, VFB Stuttgart. Uh, the last 10 games, Dortmund have been good at home. I think they've only lost two, one to Hoffenheim and uh, the other one to Leipzig. And uh, they've lost to Leipzig. Leipzig is a, is a big team. Uh, Stuttgart, on the other hand, are not so very solid when they're playing away. Yeah? You can see the games they've lost to Bayern, they've lost to Heidenheim, uh, to Leverkusen. So I want to believe against when they meet the big top, teams in Bundesliga, uh, they are shaky when they are playing away, so I want to go with a straight win for Dortmund on game number two. Uh, proceeding on, game number three, Empoli versus Torino. My prediction is a draw. Uh, employee, em, Empoli playing at home has not been very uh, good in terms of performance in the last five games. Uh, on the other hand, Torino too has not been very uh, promising when they play away. They've only lost, they've only won two out of the last ten. Yeah, so I want to go with a draw uh, based on the fact that neither of these teams is showing any solid performance uh, in the last last ten games. So uh, draw is my prediction for game number three. Game number four. Vitis versus Nek 
Nijim again. Uh, if you look at the table, Vitis or Vites is uh, currently second last uh, on the relegation uh, zone. So this is a battle to get out of the relegation zone. Uh, Neck, on the other hand, are number six in the playoff position, so they want to maintain that. So again, typical games uh, being floated by Sportpesa this month and uh, the coming months is teams fighting relegation or fighting for a position in the European competition. Yeah, so it's a tough battle. Both teams have something to play for. Uh, but I want to go with Neck. Neck. Nijim again. Why? Because their form is good. They've only lost one out of the last five. Uh, Vitis, as you can de see there, have lost uh, four out of the last five games. So uh, my straight prediction is a way win. Neck Nijim again to win. Huh? Yeah, game number five. Rangers versus Celtic. Tough game, guys. Very tough game. Uh, this is a battle for the title. Uh, Celtics number one currently, just one point ahead of Rangers. If you ask me, this is another game similar to that of Man City versus Arsenal. Uh, they, one of these teams or both of them will play very defensive or very safe. Yeah, so for that reason, I want to go with a draw. Uh, that neither team will want to play carelessly. So it will be a very, very careful game for both teams. Uh, very little attacking in my opinion. So a draw is my prediction for game number five. Then game number six, Huesca versus Leganes. Uh, La Liga two, straight away I always go with a draw. Don't want too much headache. Uh, very low scoring teams, low sco scoring league. So my straight away prediction is always a draw. And if you can see the odds, the odds are always, the, the odds are also pointing to a draw. The odds I think are below three. So that uh, should also give us an indicator what the bookmakers are also thinking. Yeah, so game number six, draw. Game number seven, uh, Sadi Reims versus Ojisi Nise. Again, my prediction is a draw. Nise is a very defensive team. They've been very shaky lately, but I know they'll want to maintain a position for the European competition. So I know it's going to be a defensive game again uh, from Nise, so I want to go. Uh, with a draw, it's my prediction. Then game number eight, Hoffenheim versus Augsburg. My prediction is Hoffenheim to win. For this particular game, I went with the head-to-head -head statistics. Hoffenheim has always uh, beaten Augsburg when they play at home. So I want to go with the home advantage and select Hoffenheim to win game number eight. Game number nine, Villarreal versus Burgos. Again, La Liga 2, straight away draw my prediction. Guys, you try analyzing these games of La Liga 2, you'll have a headache. Eh? <laughs> very tough, very tough league to uh, predict. So straight away, I'm going for, the, for a draw. Another game from La Liga 2, Mirandes versus Sporting Dijon. Actually, it's pronounced Sporting Gijon. Gijon. When you hear the commentators, uh, commentating on the game, they say sporting a horn. So, my prediction again is a draw. La Liga 2, I don't want to stress myself so much on analyzing something that I don't know, like I can't predict straight away. So, draw is my prediction. Even the bookmakers, I think, are pointing towards uh, to a draw by the odds. The odds should be below three, uh, if I'm not wrong. Game number 11, Gidi Chavez versus Portimonense. Uh, now, Gidi Chavez is currently bottom of the league. Uh, Portimonense is just two spots ahead. Battle of the relegation again. Battle of relegation. I want to predict that Gidi Chavez will win. Uh, going by the form that they've shown in the past games, they're always in the mega jackpot. And they're always trying to at least play for a draw. So this time they are home and they haven't won a game in the last five. Uh, and they also have a chance of getting out of the relegation zone. So, home advantage, I want to go with Chavez to win. Game number 12, Norway. Uh, Hugs, uh, Hug, FK Hagusand, Hagusand versus Lillstrom. My prediction is away to win. Head to head, 
it's been uh, 50 50 uh, but uh, going by the last uh, recent games and the uh, build up to the league that is the club friendlies Lillstrom have shown to be a better team so i want to go with the uh, Lillstrom to win game number 12. let me say a few things before we proceed <laughs> Talk is my thing, man. I have to motivate myself. Eh? And there are a few others here who like to be motivated. Eh? So 286 million is the current price. Yeah, so the question today is what is the first thing you will buy with the money? Eh? Guys, what is this thing that is currently just eh, running through your mind that you can't wait to get some very good money to buy? Eh? So you just say, once I get this 286 million, pop, if this money lands in my account, pop. The first thing I want to buy is this. So, what is this? So, what is this thing that you, you you are really yearning to buy, and you can't wait to get some money to buy it? Huh? Uh, is it a car? Uh, for some of you, is it a car? Uh, are you dreaming of this very big SUV car, huh? some very modern, uh, stylish car? Or is it a house? Uh, Maybe you don't you don't you don't have a house right now, and your dream is to own your own home. Uh, so you can't wait for this to eight six million. You you buy some very humongous eh? ten bedroom house. <laughs> yeah, ten bedroom house. No, make it seven bedroom house. So every 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 week of the day you sleep in a different in a different room. Eh? So on Monday you sleep in bedroom one. On Tuesday bedroom two. <laughs> yeah. So is it a house you are waiting to buy? Or is it a holiday? Maybe you've been waiting to go on holiday, man. Eh? You just can't get money to go on holiday. You're stuck in your village. You're stuck in your hometown. So as soon as this 286 million lands, the first thing you want to buy is air tickets eh, to a holiday destination of your choice, eh, of your dream. Eh? You want to visit Miami, or is it where that you get the best sandy beaches? Eh? Ladies, you just want to check into some very nice hotel and relax. Eh? Relax and pretend that you are reading some newspaper like a very serious business person. <laughs> yeah? Or you want to carry your better halves. Yeah? You want to take your better halves on a holiday. Yeah? And please, if you are married, take your spouse. Don't take side chicks and side and side uh, boyfriends. Gashungwa. Eh? Is that what they call it? Eh? <laughs> if you are married, please make sure you take your spouse. Eh? So, so is it a holiday or is it shopping? Hmm? I think this is a the dream of every lady. Eh? So you just, as soon as you get this 286 million, eh, you, you, the first thing is you want to land in a mall, eh? is it Galeria or is it West End Mall or uh, what is the other one called? Uh, Two Rivers. Eh? And you want to go on a shopping spree. Eh? You want to buy, buy things. You, you've always reached to buy clothes, eh? ladies, eh? shoes, eh? name them, eh? everything. Eh? So is it shopping that you've always dreamt of? Or is it some electronics, eh? some gadgets? Eh? Maybe you have a kabambe. You finally want to buy an iPhone. Some of us just hear iPhone. We don't even know what it, look, it looks like. Eh? Or a music system. Eh? You unataka majirani wajue umefika. Na wachilia sauti kweli kweli. Eh? Boom. <laughs> eh? or, a, or a flat screen TV, wall to wall. Eh? You know those TVs that run from one end of, to, of the world to another? Eh? Uh, or is it some favorite food you've always uh, salivated when you see? Eh? So as soon as you get this to 86 million, you go and buy yourself a whole sack of hamburgers. Una kula hamburger kweli kweli kunia moja. Ama ama ni hizi chakula zinaka zawadosi yata siju zinaitwa nini? Or is it a drink? You some favorite one. You hear those wines that are siju 200 years old. Eh? So you are saying to yourself, nikapata hii 26 million, itakunywa kibuyu moja ya hiyo. <laughs> so guys, drop drop a comment. Let me know what is this thing? What is this thing that you're really waiting to buy as soon as you get this money? Eh? So in the comment section, please see, drop, drop me a comment. Let me know. Eh? Please share. What is this dream? What is this dream thing you want to buy? Eh? Uh, the very, the very first thing, once the money lands in your account, uh, just straight to the ATM withdraw and boom, buy this thing. Eh? For me, guys, is this car. I just love this double cabin pickup eh, with a bull bar. Eh? A bull bar is that car metal in front there, that big, huge metal in front there. Eh? So, this is my dream. As soon as 
aka kapesa kanaingia tu hivi double cabin pickup huge migu kubwa kubwa can't get stuck in the mud <laughs> so this is my dream i can't wait as soon as i get that money straight away to the showroom i have to get me a double cabin pickup i don't know why i love this car it's, i just don't know so before the, before i can buy any other flashy car this one has to come first it's my first love hmm? so let me know Otherwise, we proceed game number 13, Verona versus Genoa, uh, Italy, Syria, I want to predict a draw, game number 14, Tenerife versus Eiba, La Liga uh, 2, again, draw straight away, uh, Irinvin versus Utrecht, game number 15, my prediction again is a draw, lately in Netherlands. Uh, RDVC league has been very hard to predict. Eh? Sometimes you predict goals and they don't score. You don't you when you don't predict goals they they, they score like an answer. Eh? So I want to go with a draw for that game. Game game number sixteen, Galatasaray versus Fenerbahce. Uh, this is another game similar to that one of Celtic versus uh, Rangers uh, or uh, Man City versus Arsenal that we witnessed last week. So. I want to predict a draw again. Top teams here. But this is not the league. This is, I think, the uh, the Turkish Cup final. So still, I want to predict a draw. It will be a lot of playing safe at the beginning. Uh, no team will want to give it out or lose the first half or early, early minutes of the game. So my prediction again is a draw. And finally, game number 17, Nantes versus Lyon. I want to go with Leon. Leon has been uh, on great form lately. They've improved. I think at uh, the start of uh, the year, they were almost in the relegation zone, but they've really climbed up. Nantes is currently uh, around the relegation uh, zone, but I don't think Leon would want to go back there. So I want to predict Leon to win. Yeah, guys, so the, those are the 17 games. Uh, some likes, please, if you find any value in this video or the ones that I post. Please give a like, at least uh, I mean, part of some uh, consolation prize. Eh? You know, the likes you give me are the consolation I get. Yeah, if I get 0 over 17, at least I know I have some 50 likes from my favorite fans eh, to smile about. Eh? <laughs> yep, so as usual, keep your passport ready, sleep with it in your pocket on Monday. Fly out of the house. And uh, final advice, please do not copy and paste. Like I've always said, do your analysis too. Compare with mine. Pahali unaona, Mr. Analysis anadanganya, sema hapana, you pick your own. Where you think I'm making sense, please, you can always uh, copy and paste. Otherwise, guys, good luck in your journey to win this thing. Good luck to me too. I'm not stopping. This journey has to continue until I win. This man is waiting for me and I keep telling you guys, wait and see. Very soon you will see me in the TV being interviewed. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, thanks guys. Please remember to subscribe and like the video. Until next week, same time, same place. See you. That is if I don't win. If I win, bye-bye. Uh, you won't see me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye-bye guys. Until next time, see you in the next video.